In this video, we'll check out a quick way to give your video clips a cinematic look with one click. With the right settings, you can turn a boring piece of footage into something cinematic. Obviously, a real cinematic look requires cinematic lighting and cinematic camera movements, compositions, etc. But the cinematic look that people are obsessed with can be achieved without all of that. I'm talking about something like this. The only thing you'll need is the Uniconverter 16 that you can get from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Now you may ask, why not do it in a video editing software like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro? Well, on one hand, because we're not doing a full-on color grading to the clips, that's a completely different case and it's also more complicated. Plus, the batch workflow is not as easy as it is in the Uniconverter. Clearly, if professional level cinematic color grading could be achieved with only one click, a lot of people would lose their jobs. Also, the Uniconverter is a cheaper option than Pro Video Editor tools, and it's easier to use for someone who is not very much into video editing. What we're gonna do is create a preset that then we can apply for any future clips that we want to turn into something more cinematic. All right, so when you have the Uniconverter, open the tool, and what you'll need is the video editor. In this tool, you can import up to 20 clips at a time and process them all together the same way. You can modify the clips through a handful of settings, and then you can save those settings as a preset, which then you can reuse over and over again. So let me import my clips and then see about those settings. The very first thing I'll do is change the aspect ratio setting. Now we're gonna be a little cliche with this because we're gonna use the CinemaScope aspect ratio 235 to one. As this aspect ratio immediately gives the footage a different vibe, simply because we associate the cinematic look with this aspect ratio. All right, moving on, we'll change the colors a bit. Now we don't have a whole lot of options here, but we'll operate with what we have. First of all, let's turn up the contrast a bit but also adjust the brightness as well. I will take back from the saturation a little bit. And then the white balance is something that isn't important to be messed with unless you want to change the colors entirely. But if the clip has a good white balance originally, you don't want to mess with that. The rest of the settings we can ignore and move on to the export settings. Here you don't have to do anything fancy, just choose either MP4 or MOV as the output format as they're the most convenient ones. And then you can also set up a file name insert. I'll write Cine after the original file name so that I know that those files are modified. Then I'll leave the output folder as it is. Now I'll navigate the cursor up here and click on these three dots. Then I click on save as new preset. I'll give it a name and then click on OK. And finally click on export. And now that it has finished exporting, let's take a look at the clips. And the best part is that if next time I'd like to do the same thing, I can just import my clips, go to the presets and select the Cine one, and export them right away. The great thing about this tool is that you can create a lot of presets that then you can reuse for clips, saving you a lot of time in your workflow. But that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But I'm gonna thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.